In this video, I want to talk about the option in Feature Cam called Region of Interest. So here on the screen, I have this particular part, uh, basically just a block with this cutout through it, and the cutout's kind of curved and uh, a little hard to see in there. But what I want to do is drill this 3 8 diameter hole as deep as I can, and I want to make sure it does not break through here inside. So I already have the hole here. So if I go ahead and play this, uh, it changed our stock, of course, in 3D. But we can't see the slot through there, and we can't really tell whether we're breaking through or not. So the first thing I'm going to do, and we uh, saw this in earlier videos, but I'm going to go to my stock and tell it that we have a user-defined piece of stock, stock solid. And I'm going to actually pick this solid model as my stock. So if I go ahead and say OK, OK, play. Now our part takes on that shape. And we can kind of look in here and, and barely tell that it looks like we're just breaking through there. But I want to get it as deep as possible without breaking through. So what I'm going to do is go to top view. And on our simulation menu under show, there's this option called region of interest. And what happens is we have three choices here inside this little dialog box. The first one being uh, basically the default, and it's show the entire piece of stock. We can focus on individual features, and then all your features show up in this window. Of course, we only have that hole there. Or there's the option called XYZ, where you can basically define two corners, if you will. Well, I'm going to do that just by picking and dragging with my mouse. So I'm going to pick anywhere out here in space and kind of drag it till it gets about halfway through the part or through the hole in this case. And you can actually be a little more accurate with the coordinates. So notice here that we can change those values. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Rotate a little bit. Now when we play or simulate, you can see that we get a cross section of the part from that top view. So now we get a little better idea of what's going on down at the bottom of this hole. So let's go to the front view. And you can see it's breaking through. So what I'm going to do is stop here, go change the depth of my hole. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to unshade it so you can see a little bit better there. Go to my hole and I'm just going to change the actual depth. I'm just going to say 950, apply. You can tell there it's not going to break through as well. But if I go ahead and simulate it again in the 3D, we get the cross section. You can kind of see what's going on there. So cross section, I'm calling it cross section, but we call it region of interest. So it's just an area that I have interest in.